I put a post on my Instagram regarding Valentine's Day and to see who would be willing to go on a blind date and I got a great reaction from a few of the ladies so I'm going to call some of them now just to see the kind of criteria, the kind of man that they're looking for. Alright, I'm going to call the first girl. Let's see what she's after. Hey. Hey, what's going on? You alright? I'm good, how are you? I'm lovely, thank you. I'll be much better when I figure out who you're looking for. I have a list, so it's kind of a bit long. Jeez, energy. Let me get my notepad out. One sec, one sec, one sec. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Start firing. Go ahead. So, uh, I would need the person to be a black man. Need. That's my preference. Okay. Yeah. Need. Uh huh. And um, the person needs to have a beard. That's a non-negotiable. I'd like a guy in a good profession simply because I'm in a good profession, so that is kind of important to me. Always love a Miss Banks. Did you say Miss Banks? You want me to get you Miss Banks? If you can get me Miss Banks, let's make it happen. You said, you, you said Miss Banks, it's fine. I know, I know what you're after. Don't be disappointed if it ain't Miss Banks though. No, <laughs> if he has no beard, friend zone, basically. <laughs> I won't discriminate, but he'll be in the friend zone. Height is non-negotiable for me. It really, it's just one of those things you're five foot one and you're making demands. <laughs> Wait, this is a crazy world. Yeah, I am. Small girl energy. I need a tall guy. In terms of personality wise, I would say I like someone who's funny because I'm I'm wild, funny and bubbly. Likes family because I'm very family oriented, if that makes sense. She uh, loves Soka, that's even better. Oh, she has to like Soka? She's she got a lot on Soka, man. This guy just wants to whine, look at him. <laughs> Bunda as well. I knew. Just that small, small. That's it, small, small. All right, cool. Uh, I got you. I got you. Okay, do you know what? This is sounding very, very good, but I need to take it left now. So, what are your red okay. flags? I know it's a bit controversial, but if there's a baby in the picture, especially if it's a, a young, young baby, I'd rather he didn't associate or know of my exes. How many exes are there? Just, just, just to uh, huh? clarify. Yeah, to need to like to cook, you know, not know how to cook. I like my food, I eat a lot, and I like to cook as well. Can you cook? Yes, I can, of course, yeah. Okay. I like Caribbean food as well, oxtail, rice and peas. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Mm -hmm. They de definitely have to look after themselves. They can't have someone who doesn't kind of care about, I guess, their body and health. Does she have to go gym? She doesn't have to go gym, nah, because like, she can be like a little fluffy in it, like that's fine, you know. Um, yeah. <laughs> she know her too tough. Lisa Yarrow. Man's giving me specifics, big man, who's that? <laughs> Someone who doesn't know how to apologise. Cigarettes. Oh, so she can't be a smoker? What about if he hates soca? Oh, it's Cancel him. <laughs> Cancel him. He's got a love soaker or at least Afro beats and he's got to tolerate cats. That's fine. I'm pretty sure I can okay. find that. And how are you with your family? Oh, I'm very family orientated. Yeah. I went on a date and the guy didn't care about what he looked like. That can't happen. I'm good at saying sorry without saying sorry. <laughs> you can't go to the shop, buy me Walker's sweet chili and think that's an apology. No, but it is like let's say that like, we're not speaking because of something I did. And you put up your crisp. Like, and you don't. You're not a fan of ghosting. <laughs> I have a few awards I've collected in ghosting since I've moved to London. But <laughs> what are your red flags? That's a good question. I actually don't think so. Mm, that's what I they all say. How to say that? Compulsive liar. <laughs> let's say intense. Intense. I like. Yeah. I'm a bit you want to live in his skin. Wanna, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Impulsive. You might like her today and not like her tomorrow. Oh, no, no, not that impulsive, <laughs> no. I can be a bit emotional. No, not I can be a bit, I am emotional. I can say goodbye as quick as I can say hello. Oh, wow. So this person's got to be, this blind date, the guy's got to be perfect, boy. Uh, definitely that I talk too much. <laughs> first and foremost. So you know that when you're arguing with someone and then they, they say something, you're like, yeah, but I never said it. That's not how I said it. So why are you saying it like that? Yeah, yeah, I've done that before. You're that kind of person, yeah? I don't do it all the time. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, me, I'll be done with you. What do you bring to the table? What do I bring to the table? Besides your beard. 
I am the table. I I could have bet money you would have <laughs> answered in that no, manner. A journey that could only be written by the stars. Brother, you Disney. Man what? said written in the stars, true love. A day won't pass where you're not unhappy. My brother, they what are you talking about? Charismatic, I am funny, and I just think I'm a good person to be around. I hate that question because it's like, I'm not going to advertise myself like I'm on Gumtree. Let me ask you a question before I let you go, yeah? If you yeah. asked someone that question and they answered, a journey with me will be written in the stars, what would your response be? A journey would, with me would be written in the stars. Yeah. What? <laughs>
I mean, a household without a praying woman will crumble always. She has to know how to cook. I'm African, so you know, I like my food, and as an athlete, I'll be eating quite a lot. So yeah, she gotta keep me fed, but don't worry, I'm gonna keep you fed too. I matched Rochelle and Mehdi because height was a non-negotiable for her and he had to have a bid. For Mehdi, it was important that she cooked, was family oriented, so I think they'll definitely be a good match. So a lot of you are probably wondering what I've got lined up for the dates. I've spoken to the team at Matura and we have a three course meal two cocktails and a bottle of wine. Great vibes, great music and great food. All I need now is for the dates to go down and have a great time. When I first started it, um, obviously the DMs were flying in and I was feeling pretty confident. But then when I started telling people the development of the idea, loads of people started dropping out. So I'm like, ah, what's going on? Then I've already confirmed the reservation at the restaurant. People are getting back to me saying, Do you know what, I've had to think about it, I'm actually down, I'm actually going to be single on Valentine's Day, so why not? And I'm like, yeah, let's do it. So I just hope that they go to the restaurant and they just have a good time. The restaurant's amazing, the food's amazing, the drinks are amazing, so I just hope the people are amazing. And we may be a relationship, a marriage, who knows? It's finally Valentine's and everyone's getting ready, so let's see how our blind dates are feeling. So, I'm here getting ready in the toilet for a blind date. <laughs> I just realised that I've never been on a blind date. Like, you know when it just kind of dawns on you, you're like, what the f***? <laughs> I literally, I don't know what I've got myself into. Like, what if I'm like, just not attracted to the guy? in the slightest and I have to sit on a date with him for how many hours? That uh, we really embarrassing. Now I'm excited. I don't know what Taser or what or who Taser set me up with, but fingers crossed he's not an absolute <laughs> Roman, see you guys on the other side um, and wish me luck. I am about to jump in the shower and get ready and go to the restaurant and I feel good. I feel quite calm. I thought I'd feel nervous in the lead up to the date, but I feel okay. So I'm just getting ready. As you can see, the rag is on. The waves are going to swim tonight. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but um, yeah, just get ready, thinking about tonight, how it's gonna go, how she look like, hoping it's gonna be a good night. I like adventure, so I'm not really too stressed. But yeah, we'll see, looking forward to it. Okay, so I'm getting ready for this blind day. I'm running 15 minutes late because I'm having a hair crisis. It's just not curling how it should. I have broken a nail. <laughs> like, this is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I tried to curl this, look how it's coming out. But yeah, I hope he understands that I'm late. Like, this is how I am. I'm not going to lie. I could have gotten ready five hours earlier. I would still be late. I'm always late. But just like the grace period, like if it's a booking of 8.30, I'd get there by 8.45. So that's the same thing that's happening right now. I'm on my way. One side of my hair is still not as curled as I'd like it to be. I'm half an hour late. I don't want to be any later than that. So I just have to get a move on. My fire alarm went off because I was trying to curl for so long. Oh my days, you never guess what, yeah? Mehdi's called me and he's basically outside the restaurant. But he doesn't know he's outside the restaurant. So he's FaceTime me like, yo, Taze, I don't know where I am. And he's just started walking. So I said, yo, stop walking, send me your location. Turns out he was near Buckingham Palace. So I said, all right, cool, I'm going to call you Uber. I've called him at Uber. That's taken another 15 minutes. The Uber's just gone round in a circle, dropped him in the same place he was at when he first FaceTimed me. And he goes, bro, I'm at the same place. I'm like, huh? I says, show me your local, uh, show me your surroundings, sorry. He showed me his surroundings. Imagine the restaurant's behind him. He had no idea. Anyway, around the same time that's happening, his date, Rochelle, she's on the train and it's stopped at Edgware Road. She's called 
an Uber because the next train said seven minutes and she doesn't want to be late. Um, sorry, she's called a Bolt. Bolt keeps cancelling, cancelling. So she's called me panicking. I said, don't worry, come out the station, send me your location, I'll call you an Uber. So I called her an Uber now. She was at um, Edge of Road. So she was at Edge of Road. I've called her an Uber, um, told her to stand outside Cafe uh, Nero, um, near Edge of Road, and giving her the screenshot of the Uber that I booked for her. Obviously, she's mad saying thank you. I'm so sorry. Then I'm like, no, 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 don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, man. Because they, don't, they both don't know that they were actually both late. So now they're both panicking, thinking the other person's already there waiting. These times, that's not the case, which is so sick. How, what a coincidence that the two that are late are the ones that are actually both late for the same date. But anyway, so she's now in an Uber now and um, she says she's five minutes away. But obviously, Mehdi's at the restaurant already and he's just enjoying the vibes Obviously, you see the screenshots now. He was just excited to be there. It was a sick of, um, experience he was saying. So it's just mad. It's just mad. But yeah, I just wanted to record this again in the moment so people know how I'm feeling. Again, like this is what? 9.33 now. So you can see the synergy with this and the video. We're now halfway through the dates. So I want to check in with the mandem, see how it's going. And the girls are looking elite. Antonia is wonderful. She is, she's funny, she's gone in, she's black, you know, ticking, ticking all the boxes, fam. And she's very, um, like her job seems very studious, you know, like she's on her ten, you know, but like still seems like a very curious spirit. And yeah, it's just doing well. So, we halfway through our meal, I'm really enjoying myself. She's a beautiful lady, beautiful smile. So yeah, good bands, good bands. We got a little band on her, which I like. She's smart, she's educated, she's very important to me. But yeah, we're gonna see. We had some shots, I'm not gonna lie. A couple of drinks. I'm a little bit weird, a tiny bit. Dates are wrapped up. It's time to finally see how I did. Will there be a second date on the cards? I just got back from the date not too long ago. He was a really nice guy, really funny. Yeah, conversation was really good, not forced at all. Um, yeah, he was literally everything I asked for down to a T and I did have a very extensive and long list. So that was very difficult to deliver. Um, yeah, I would definitely see him again. So I just got home. Um, I really enjoyed myself. Um, the drinks was drinking. The f chat was chatting. I don't know what I'm saying because I'm kind of tipsy, just a little bit tipsy. I really did enjoy myself. We exchanged details. We might see each other again. Hi. So <laughs> I'm back from the date. I'm actually with my main man at the moment. I'll show you. I am back from the date and essentially would I go on would I go on another date with him? Oh okay, he's saying <laughs> I'm joking. So it was a really lovely day. Um he was very lovely, very sweet, but I think that I'm not as creative as he is. He's an actor, he's very creative, he kind of lives life in this acting world, um, which I don't understand, so I think me and him are at different places. I would rate the day an 8 out of 10. It was a nice day, it was a really nice restaurant, the chat was good, but I think there was like something there that wasn't connecting. It's like half 12 now. Tony's lovely and she's quite awkward, but in an endearing way. Uh, <laughs> and we have so many things in, in our comment, like I have a bit of chocolate. Um, obviously we both gone in. Uh, we both don't speak tree, <laughs> but I can understand it. And it's just, yeah, we had a good vibe.